Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl here. So continuing on our you know BMC ADDM discovery, we will be today uh, discussing a few more you know uh, features of ADDM. So we will see this integrations, knowledge, module rules, and discovery tools. So these are the options which we will you know see in BMC discovery. We will be covering uh, each and every topic of uh, BMC ADDM. So these are just um, you know the basic uh, overview of all the topics we will have during our course of uh, you know training for BMC ADDM. So let's get started. Okay, last time uh, we uh, saw that uh, we uh, saw these two things uh, that how the discovery you know happens and what is the you know credentials what are credentials how we add credentials then how discovery happens based on the credentials then in discovery we saw how you are uh, you know you will be able to create your um, discovery how you will be able to uh, schedule your discoveries how you will be able to discover the network now <coughs> moving on to the uh, you know other aspects of ADDM so we have this um, integrations we will see this in later and um, now let me go to the you know most important topic of ADDM called uh, this knowledge section or we called it as TPLs so what exactly this uh, TPL is that uh, like you know uh, when uh, in ADDM the discovery happens when in ADDM uh, the discovery happens you need to uh, know that uh, like uh, for example when you will identify a server how you will come to know that which type of server this is what are the features of the server what are the parameters of the server so that our ADDM uh, you know engine should understand it okay it should understand that what I am discovering how I will present it so then to you know get the knowledge of those servers or to get the knowledge of the infrastructure we have this knowledge you know uh, section where we uh, you know update the uh, the tpl or the patterns <coughs> we call them so here uh, how is that exactly it is like you know that in uh, the different uh, you know uh, servers are provided by different vendors we have servers from ibm we have servers from dell we have linux servers we have Unix servers, we have any other infrastructure, you know, uh, components provided by different vendors. Now they have their own uh, different set of capabilities, different set of um, parameters set up. So that particular information should be in place with our ADDM so that when it discovers, a, um, you know, uh, a particular item, it should, you know, categorize that. How it happens? It is done through patterns. For example, when a discovery will happen for an ADDM uh, machine or a server, so the system will apply certain patterns on it, and these patterns will basically identify it whether it's an IBM server, how many uh, you know gigs of RAM, what are the configurations, how many uh, hard disks are there on the server, whether it's a VM or a physical server, and how many applications are installed on the server, what each application component has and other uh, parameters of the um, uh, server will be identified so this is the section which basically gets updated on uh, you know a frequent basis so monthly you know uh, bmc releases these uh, tpls and we have to just upload it so this is the section where you can basically upload it for example You've if you are working mail. as an admin then uh, you will get a, this tpl from bmc then you can directly upload it from here okay that file you need to update uh, update from here and it will update your TPLs, so it will include the new, you know, servers, new <coughs> configurations, or it will uh, have updates to the existing ones. So the latest TPU you can see here uh, is done on this. It is the uh, uh, I think 2019. So so this uh, section I have opened network. So you can see. Uh, 
related to access point i have these number of you know uh, sections like we have cisco ap then aruba ap so if you go and open any of these items it will give you the details of that particular compound sorry that particular compound component so you can see here you'll be able to see what parameters it is able to identify will not go in detail into this but this is a network device uh, uh, pattern for <coughs> sorry which is configured in ADDM now when discovery happens and if there is a Cisco device it will apply this pattern on the discover uh, discovered device and will basically identify it okay so these are the knowledge articles you need sorry knowledge or TQs we call them so the then you have to update them on a monthly basis uh, on monthly basis whenever there is a you know pattern or a knowledge you know update from BMC you have to go and <coughs> add them here in the uh, in your system you can also create your uh, patterns in clicking this uh, then you can you know define your uh, patterns these are called uh, these can be defined through uh, these templates also you can use these templates and define your own custom patterns so that also can be done here so you need to learn more on the patterns before you go and start exploring it or before you start going taking on or creating these patterns so this is it for the the knowledge uh, part the knowledge summary you can explore it more what exactly this is if you need any information any help you can comment me on my on the section below okay then uh, knowledge after knowledge we have these model rules okay, let me go to the model rules so the model rules basically uh, are the rules which like when you when you are uh, discovering uh, the particular section particular module you are discovering applications you are discovering servers you are discovering any any um, you know device then uh, so there are certain uh, rules which are applied on your discovered data so if i let me open this one of the show selected <coughs> or i will click this so this basically was created by a particular pattern so pattern uh, when it was it had discovered this you know footprint um, asset core master server and it used the pattern to discover this particular case so the uh, it this section basically shows you this section basically shows you the rules which are there in the system based on which the the discovery has been done so you can ver verify it if uh, for example you can enable or disable a particular pattern for example this pattern it is currently disabled if i click on this then if I click here on the action so you can uh, do the uh, you can check this particular pattern has been currently disabled let me go back my to my section for example if I select this pattern and then in actions I might get an option to delete or deactivate this so currently it is not uh, activated so let me see if I click on this it will give me a message if you want to activate I say okay okay now I got a message so this is uh, this particular pattern is now activated so if you have any pattern which is currently disabled it will be uh, visible here in your section okay you will be able to see it. from here you can all you know select all these are basically the Dropbox options also you can import your model rules here so if you have an existing server and from there you want to import the model rules here you can do it from this section okay you can create uh, you can export these model rules and also you can import them so these uh, basically help you in identifying that when your discovery is happening so in your system uh, what is happening on the on the um, you know based on what uh, the discovery is happening which patterns are being applied to the discovery let me go here from okay now the third part is this discovery tools <coughs> so as in last video I had said that uh, Windows, you know, ADDM uses the Windows proxy to do the discovery for Windows because itself uh, ADDM is installed on a Linux environment. It's not even Linux; it's some other um, component. It is, it is comes as a VM. Um, if I remember, it is um, CentOS. Yeah, it is CentOS, and then uh, that OS is used 
but now for discovery on windows uh, machines it needs this windows proxy to be installed on a particular some of the windows server and then that becomes a windows proxy server and then based on that the discovery of windows uh, server sorry windows servers is done now we can download these components from here if you want to install them so this is a windows scanner you can download it here then uh, they have also some templates for azure this is related to azure discovery then for aws lambda function so these are some other you know um, uh, things which are available here for aws uh, environments okay so these are just the basic tools which which addm provides you now uh, coming on to this uh, integration part here you will see a third party integration so if you have done any uh, you know integrations for for addm that can be done from the configuration so you will be able to see them here if I, for example i have this integration so what this integration does <coughs> so currently there are no patterns related to this but there is a you know integration which has been defined here um, you know um, for um, addm with some uh, third party from which it is basically uh, you know uh, getting the uh, these uh, sorry getting the nodes or getting the network data i think if i click on these connections these connections will explain me more so then this is a connection which it is using to uh, for this particular integration now uh, the most important part of uh, you know uh, addm is the integration with cmd so that i will show you if i go here then you can do that from here cmdb sync we will explore all of the other options also but as of now we will see only this cmdb sync i'll click on this this is one of the integrations which people are always you know curious about that how addm integration with cmdb can be done how the data will flow from addm to cmdb so you know that once you uh, addm and cmdb they work as a coupled application so once the addm discovers the data it uh, models the data and then it um, you know what it does once the data is dis discovered it sends this data to cmdb through cmdb integration so cmdb uh, uh, cmdb <coughs> will receive this data and in cmdb this data is put under a um, uh, you know staging data set we will explore this when we will go to the cmdb training so that data will be uh, you know put under a staging data set or a staging form or a staging table called bmc addm and then we uh, in the cmdb process you know follows like we do the uh, reconciliation normalization then identification merging and other things are then uh, done on that particular data but from addm how the data is sent to uh, bmc cmdb is done through this so he can, here you can add your cmdb connection if you click on add cmdb connection it will give you an option to add connection i think uh, it the only thing it will need you is your server name and the user credentials so you can see here you can name your uh, credential sorry name your uh, connection then you can use um, uh, like what type of mechanism you want to use cmdb api rest api and remedy force so if you are if you want to send the data to remedy force then you have to use this okay then you will follow the remedy force procedure and if you are using a rest api you can use this and but for cmdb to send the data you can use this the only thing you need to mention is the address of the air server here in the network address where cmdb is installed and the credentials for air server and then again specify this cmdb connection uh, let me open it okay as you can see here uh, it gives me the uh, the details about the connection like air server version then the other uh, details can see here uh, sorry this was the status this is the details of the air server this is the ip address of air server then i can uh, filter out the data so here i can define um, the filters uh, i can you know uh, you can say here is mentioned here that it, uh, this page and it just like the bmc discovery root nodes should be synced to cmdb so this, you can you filter out the data like uh, what type of data you are uh, you know we want to send to cmdb also you can clear here the staging data and other options you know all maintenance work can be done here <coughs> then 
we have this blackout window black window is like you can define a particular um, time frame from uh, in which you do not want to send the data to bmc cmd so you can define for example i do not want to send uh, the data from 1 am to 3 pm sorry 1 am to 3 am then i can define add it here so in that particular time frame it will not sync the data to cmdb and i'll go to this section resyncing so you can start once the you know this um, connection is done established then you can start the sync so it is saying uh, resync that means it is already synced it once so uh, you can uh, click on this and it will start the syncing of the data now to get the status of the data you have to go here so it will show you the uh, what devices which have failed this will be as a reports we will explore that reports and devices that succeeded the cmdb sync so it will give you all the you know important things about the cmdb sync about the data which is being sent to bmc remedy so this was it from my side thank you thanks for watching videos we will explore this addm tool uh, more in depth this was just an overview of the things so i you know focused more on um, items or more on the areas which are you know used on um, operational or day to day basis uh, there are a lot of things but um, i know that from the operation perspective what is what is uh, you know important to be uh, you know known or what is important to be managed there are a lot of other things which are like uh, yeah they are there but you know we do not use them quite often so i do not uh, stress on those things but i give you more details on the items which are um, uh, you know very important considering the operations of addm so, suppose this cmdb sync so this is very important to understand if you need to be an uh, addm administrator you should have this knowledge of cmdb sync so thanks thanks for watching my videos thank you